Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or honestly, welcome back, everyone. And I'm catching feelings, baby. It's been a very, very long time since I have posted a video. People have been saying, like, oh, like, when are you gonna post a video? You need to get on it. So here you go. I hope that this video makes up for the past year and a couple of months i'm honestly very glad to be back i will be explaining like on why i haven't posted in a very long time so i thought it would be a good idea to film a q and a as my first video so i'm gonna answer them for you guys but i'm gonna be getting uh ready for school tomorrow and by that i mean i'm gonna straighten my hair and then do my lashes um, I will let you guys know that I'm not the best at explaining stuff. I'm really bad at explaining. So just try your best to understand. Okay, I moved it uh, while I do my lashes because y'all are just going to see my forehead. My name is Liz Barry, for those of you who do not know. Also, um, I've gotten like questions about like why my name or like my YouTube name is H Lizberry. The H is just um like for my last name. My last name is Hernandez, so I don't know. I when was it like a couple of years ago, whenever I made um my last and final Instagram account. Instagram just like suggested that name, so I was like, you know what? I'll take it. So it's the same as my Instagram and Snapchat. So it's not Hillsbury, it's Lizberry. My birthday, my birthday is September 22nd, 2005. I was born in 2005, which makes me 17 years old today. I am a junior in high school. All right, so I finished my lashes after like 20 minutes. This is how they look up close, but I guess we could continue with the other questions um oh right so the main question is where have you been obviously so basically the whole reason why i haven't posted in a very long time is because of my mental health two years ago my parents were having their problems whatever um they separated but before they separated they put me into the problem because they don't know how to act like adults and they act like i am an adult i practically grew up thinking like that um because of the stuff that they put me through mentally the home it was never a safe place for me um not that i got like physically abused but like mentally abused i feel like it's just horrible you know they announced like they told me that you know they were gonna go their separate ways on my birthday my birthday worst day of my life that's why i don't make a big deal out of it till this day like i hate celebrating it i hate the feeling of it being my birthday you know what i mean like i just want that day to be completely over i feel like from that point on i was like just shut like i shut down like i just completely shut down and before that um i will say that i was not treated the same way as my brothers so then i moved in with my aunt and then i started going to the school that i go to today it was chaotic it was it was chaotic like it was like the darkest point in my life so of course i was not about to pick up my phone and start filming and just put an act for you guys no like i just i couldn't like i couldn't even put an act because like how do you expect someone a 15 year old that literally got death threats to pick up her phone and start filming and act like everything's okay no like i was no like i just i know i couldn't i had suicidal thoughts constantly like constantly i've been doing all this on my own i've been burying myself on my own at home i don't have support like any any type of support um which sucks but i mean what can we do about it i got sent to wellstone multiple times during school because i did not want to go back to the place that i was living in it was bad it was horrible like i knew for a fact that i would have done it so yeah that's basically the whole point 
on why I haven't posted in a very long time. I think it's gonna surprise a lot of people um, with me saying this stuff because at school, like you literally see a whole different side of me. School is my safe place for sure. Like I'd rather be at school whenever I can or anywhere else besides here. Like it's just, that's that. So I think that was a lot. <laughs> um that i just threw on you guys but that is the truth i guess we could just move on to the other questions oh right i was supposed to be straight in my hair i hope that's straight i look crazy right now but i hope that's straight if it's not then i apologize we're just what's your favorite color i don't know i think i have three favorite colors my top is royal blue like a dark blue my second is red and then my third is pink hobbies um i like to talk to myself if you would consider that as a hobby if you guys didn't know i do have my own business um so i like to make bracelets i like to clean i really do like to clean without people telling me to do it take naps i've started to um try like new hairstyle i look dumb how tall are you because you seem taller what i am five 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 four and a half is technically five five last three crushes y'all are nosy y'all are nosy are you and your best friend still best friends okay so here's the thing um she has told me multiple times that you know people also ask her if we're best friends or not and yes we are best friends we are still best friends just because we go to different schools doesn't mean that we're just you know like that was the end of it me and her could literally stop talking for one whole month and then the next day we could just come back and like pretend like nothing happened you know where were you born i was born in mexico a lot of people think that i was born here in the united states but no i was born in mexico first kiss story time so so it was in eighth grade um me and this boy have talked or have been talking for like well since seventh grade when he moved here um and one day he asked me he was like oh like we've been dating for so long like why haven't we kissed we actually went to a high school game you know having our little moment or whatever and then right before like the game almost ended we were playing football with these little kids we were just throwing it back and forth then the game ended i was already planning on like walking home because my house was like two three blocks away from the school i was so used to it because after like um volleyball games i would literally just walk home um by myself in the dark alone like i was it was nothing new he wasn't having it he wasn't okay with that and so we basically walked out with one of my other friends his mom came to pick him and my boyfriend at the time um and so he basically just you know offered me a ride home but before we got in the car we just kissed and we got in the car and then we just continued it was a little awkward because i mean like my friend's mom was literally like right there but that didn't stop him <laughs> yeah. it wasn't like anything like romantic or whatever but i mean that was that was my story what would you do if you won the lottery oh my goodness it's one fourth of the money i would definitely 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 give it to some type of like uh mental health like um what is it association facility company whatever the other one fourth i would give it to my family like i would like split it and then the other two fourths i would keep it to myself biggest turn on and biggest turn off my biggest turn on is when they're supportive in every way possible mentally mentally for sure my biggest turn off is when people smoke or drink i know for a fact that i'm not going to try to be with someone or to get with someone if i know they smoke or if i know that they drink okay are you looking to date no sir 
or no man. Siblings, I have two siblings. I have a little brother who is 16 and I have an older brother who is 21. Want any kids? Mm, right now, no, I don't want any kids. I have my moments where it's just like, I don't want any kids. I don't want to be with anyone. I want to be with myself. What made you start YouTube? So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real honest with y'all. I started YouTube like around fifth grade, I think. The only reason why I started YouTube was because I wanted to help my dad like financially. Like I really thought that I was gonna come out here and you know, start getting paid. Like she really thought. Um, but then as the years, you know, went by, I'm just doing it for myself. I mean, that is the most selfish way. No offense, but you seem toxic, are you? <laughs> I'm not naturally toxic. I could be toxic, but I prefer not to because I don't want to be around it. I don't want to receive any type of toxic energy anymore. Like, I want that soft love. Like, I deserve that soft love you know what are your go-to's on netflix crime documentaries for sure like i'm literally obsessed but i'm kind of paranoid like these people so there there are people out there who still haven't found the murder they may have died or something but they're they're on the loose guys to be careful documentaries or scary movies what kind of things do you like? Oh my goodness. Nobody actually cares about the stuff that I like. I like talking to myself. I like bracelets. I like admiring myself. I'm literally obsessed with myself. Call me self-conceited if you want. Taking pictures of random things. I like my lashes. Natural nails if you guys want to see them. Oh, word searches for sure. Oh my goodness. I don't have a boyfriend. No. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer this last question and then hopefully wrap this video up before my phone dies. How and why did you start your business? I started my business because I want to be my own boss. I don't want to work for anyone. Um, money. I love the money. You know, just the idea of being my own boss, getting money while laying in bed. Imagine that. How? research for the website but the rest i honestly just did it on my own <sighs> anyways um i hope that you guys enjoyed this video um i hope that it wasn't boring make sure to subscribe like this video comment any video ideas you guys want me to do in the future i will not be uploading like every now and then once a week like i'm gonna upload whenever i can um once again thank you guys so much for being patient with me and i hope to see you guys on the next video